Welcome everyone to Depression to Expression. My name is Scott and yeah, this is the best mental health channel on YouTube. It's the best. It's the best. There is only one way to avoid criticism. Do nothing, say nothing, and be nothing. You know who said that? Me. No, it's Aristotle. This video isn't clickbait by any means. You will never get better until pfft, I'm going to finish that sentence, but in all seriousness, this video is maybe directed more towards those who suffer from clinical depression, severe anxiety. You know, I, I, I talk to people and the anxiety that, ex that they experience, right, is debilitating. It takes over their life. And you know, anxiety can be quite a buzzword today. And depression, where the, the fixes and the treatment that you need can be fairly simplistic. This video may be for people who need more serious treatment, professional treatment. And for those people, such as myself too, when I went through and I'm still going through, you know, bouts of depression and anxiety, you will never get better until you take a risk. Now with less severe anxiety and depression, you know, hey, meditation isn't that big of a risk. You know, buying a coloring book to calm down your nerves isn't that big of a risk. But if we're talking about seeking therapy, if we're talking about taking that leap and talking to someone about how you feel, that is a risk, my friend. And you need to take it. You need to take a risk to see some serious change with your mental illness. It's difficult. It's hard. It's beyond words. It's, uh, it, it takes a strong person to admit when they need help and to admit that, hey, I've been doing the same thing over and over again and I'm still getting that same result and I'm not feeling any better. And if that's the case for you, then you really need to take a, a good look at what you've been doing and seeing what you can do differently. I guarantee you guys, in my experience, it was when I talked to someone. It was, it was a risk. And a risk is not knowing what the, what the response will be if you tell someone. Taking a risk is not knowing the future. You don't know what's going to happen. That's what a risk is. I didn't know what I would feel when I took medication. I didn't know how I would feel when I spoke to a therapist about what was going on in my mind. I didn't think anyone could understand because complex me, no one could possibly understand my complex mind and thoughts. Little did I know these therapists hear the same stuff over and over every day. You need to take that risk. And I guarantee you in my experience and everyone I speak to, it's when you take that risk, it's when you take that leap, that's when massive change happens. That's when growth happens. That's when you get to know you. It's when you open yourself up, then you can finally discover what's inside. If you're doing the same thing over and over again and fear is dictating how you live your life, I can make a pretty educated assumption here that you may not get better as quickly as you'd like to. Risks are scary. Seeking treatment is scary. Talking about your feelings is scary. Depression, anxiety, mental illness is extremely scary. These feelings are complex. The moods you experience are complex. And a lot of the time, there's not a simple solution. In my view, talking about it, because I say, hashtag screw the stigma, I'm fine talking about it. But I know that's difficult for many. So complex moods and complex situations, complex illnesses, need complex solutions, and you need to take a risk to get better. Ralph Waldo Emerson once wrote, actually, let me get the book. This book is, uh, is the essential writings of Ralph Waldo Emerson. Excellent book. The quote goes something like this. Do not be timid or squeamish about the actions that you take. All life is an experiment, and the more experiments you make, the better. Taking a risk is an experiment. Seeking help is an experiment. Trying new things to make yourself feel better is an experiment. Let's be scientists together. Let's run a few experiments and see what works and see what doesn't. Let's theorize and hypothesize what might make us feel better and let's give it a shot. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but it's going to involve risk. And I know you're strong as hell and you can do it. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Depression to Expression. You are stronger than you know, and you are smarter than you think. So take that risk. You got this. Stay strong, 
and keep being you. Take care.